Hey friends, Jill here. I want to tell you about this soup that I'm making for lunch here. It's some um, veggie soup and uh, it's going to be the thing that takes me through to the weekend with success in my nutrition. Have you ever found that you were doing really well throughout the week, but then you kind of started to run out of healthy food and everything fell apart towards the end of the week and over the weekend? This is a really great strategy that I use to be healthy and on track the whole week. So uh, I just got together all of the vegetables that were in my refrigerator. I try to make things um, really simple so that I can do this quickly and pull it together in like 10, 15 minutes. And so I just poured a little bit of olive oil in the bottom of my pot here. And then I just grabbed everything that I could find out of my fridge. I try to take some shortcuts on things like using baby carrots so that I don't have to peel them. I just chop them a little bit. And then buying uh, broccoli florets that are already pre-washed and chopped. And the same with green beans that I just have to chop up a little bit. So I have these. I just put them back in my fridge. I use them for other things, maybe some stir fries. I always grab some celery too and chop that, wash it, chop it ahead of time. So it's usually in little bags like this. And I use this throughout the week as well in salads and stir fries and all kinds of things. And then they go in my soup too. One of the big things, my biggest thing, and my clients know this, is that I am very particular about my, my broth. My favorite broth is College in Veggie Broth. It is the garden vegetable broth. It is sweet. If you are going to make anything with a broth, use College in Veggie Broth. It is amazing. If you are ever gonna make a pot of quinoa, I always make it with this as well. It is a totally different dish when you use College in Veggie Broth. The other thing that makes a big change uh, in your soup is using fresh herbs. So I have parsley here. I just keep it in the bag in the fridge and I just rip it off and rinse it as I go throughout the week. Adding it to salads like my Thai um, zoodle salad yesterday made a huge difference in adding the freshness and flavor. So those are some things that um, really help to make this soup the most amazing that it can be. Here's my veggie soup. I just put everything in the pot with the olive oil, let it start to soften, and then I pour in the veggie broth. I used about a carton and a half. I always buy it when it's on sale. I buy like eight of them so that I have them in the house. Um, and then the big thing too is to make this a full meal, I like to actually, and my kids like this too, is I boil some chicken broths early on in the week, and I just put them in a container so that anytime during the week, whether the kids are having chicken soup or they like to put it in their ramen soup, I'll just throw this in with my soup as I make my bowl. So if I heat up a bowl of soup, I'll just grab some of the chicken and throw that in. I also like to have a carb with my lunch so that I can continue to give myself lots of energy for the rest of the day. So I also love, with my college in veggie broth, to make a pot of farro. Farro is a great grain. It's kind of like quinoa. It's got a lot of protein. It's really fun because it's kind of chewy and it has a neat texture. So this is another one of those things that I like to have for my soup. Now the reason why I don't put the chicken and the farro in the pot of soup is because I like to measure my food sometimes. And so I wanna make sure that I have the right amount of each of these things going into my serving of soup. And otherwise, I'm pretty sure my husband, when he comes home, is also gonna to wanna to have some of this soup too. So I hope this is helpful. It is super helpful for me. I know a lot of my clients have started eating a lot of this veggie soup too. You can use whatever you have in your refrigerator. In mine, I have carrots, onions, celery, broccoli, zucchini, green beans, um, tomatoes, and some parsley. Hopefully I didn't forget anything. <laughs> All right, hope you enjoyed. Tell me if you uh, make this and what you put in yours.